Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, a few examples on conditional probability related to data analysis. Uh, so, how conditional probability will help us in data analysis? That is the intuition you are going to get in this class with this example. You know, last class we already discussed about what conditional probability means, and we have discussed an example please watch that class and come back here the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class so we'll take an example first given so let's take a, we are taking a banking example given the past data so we are we have collected the previous data from the bank the data says the total 620 loans has been approved for different persons out of 620 70 loans are not paid this is the data we have from the previous bank year data is so from this the questions may be like this suppose if you give a new loan the bank is going to ask you what is the probability of not going to pay what is the probability that he is not going to pay from the past data what we understand from the past data it says that probability that he is not going to pay is 70 out of 620 because out of 620 70 are not paid this is the data which we got from the previous years so from that it says that 70 out of 620 that is equal to 0.12 around we have not mentioned the value exactly around 0.12 means 12 percent are not going to pay the bank loans this is what it says from the previous information but uh, simply identifying the probability will not help in real time data we need deeper understanding of the data so how we we are going to do that and how this conditional probability is going to help us uh, in analyzing the uh, data in deeper understanding uh, so for that we what we are going to do is we have to divide the data into different categories what we are going to do here is it's just a simple example for understanding the conditional probability we are going to do the division only in two divisions in real time there are many requirements so a is below 25 above 25 this is the division which we are going to do so below 25 we are having 150 paid loans 30 not paid loans above 25 we are having 400 paid loans 40 not paid loans for understanding purpose we have mentioned the total values total 180 uh, below 25 is we are having 180 loans above 25 is we are having 440 loans similarly we are uh, finding the total also paid loans are 550 not paid loans are 70 total we are having 620 this is what the division we have done now the questions will be like this suppose if you issue a new loan what is the probability that he is not going to pay given that his age is below 25 because if you are issuing the loan you already know his age his age is below 25 what is the probability that he is not going to pay you know first example when we take this example what's the what's our sample space 620 applications out of that how many are not paid 70 whenever the condition is been has been given not paid below 25 is our sample space changes our sample space is 180 now from the past data 180 loans has been issued to uh, is below 25 out of the 30 has not been paid so the probability is much in below 25 is that's why sample space changes this is the point you have to understand why it is changing we already discussed in our previous class when we discussed about conditional probability so probability of not paid if he is below 25 then our sample space is 180 30 by 180 that is equal to 1 by 6 this is how conditional probability is helpful in analyzing in giving the good prediction about our data so one more example for better understanding here we are not going to give the data just for understanding purpose simply we are explaining the situation so probability of selling tv in a day it was given as 30 percent how we got this 30 percent from the previous history so probability of selling tv if it is a festival it shows that 70 percent it is going to sell tv in festival days so in order to make you understand how conditional probability helps 
for that we are saying one more example hope you understand the conditional probability how we use it in data analysis if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the concept in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you